Hey everybody, Mr. Math Blog here, and this lesson is Multiply Fractions. And hey, don't forget, all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. Let's go to that site real quick, you guys. Here's MrMathBlog.com. Let me get rid of this right here. Now, because I'm recording this, uh, I got my screen on a smaller screen right here. But if we scroll over way over here, you'll find fifth grade math. And so when you click fifth grade, um, your screen won't be as squished as mine. But it, mine is this way because it's, it's hooked up to my board. Uh, that helps me build these lessons, but it's going to go right underneath here, right here. So multiplying fractions, lesson uh, lesson seven, four. Okay, let's get started with this lesson here. So um, uh, for our teachers, there's our common core strand, and our question here is, how can we use an area model to show the product, product meaning multiply, the product of two fractions? Okay, here's a question here. So Riley has a piece of ribbon that is three-fourths yard long. She will use two-thirds of that ribbon to make a bow. What length of the ribbon will she use for the bow? So what we're going to do is look for two-thirds of three-fourths. Now remember in math, you guys, the word of means multiply. So this is the same as two-thirds times three-fourths. So if you have some colored pencils, that'd be great uh, to work along in your workbook. Uh, if not, just follow along what I'm doing right here, and you're going to need a piece of paper. So if you can, fold a, a sheet of paper vertically. Vertically means uh, up and down, four equal pieces right there. So there it is folded in four equal pieces. Now what we're going to do is shade three-fourths of that to represent the three-fourths of the yard. So I'm going to shade three of these four in gold. Okay, so here they are shaded in gold right there. All right, now we're going to fold the paper horizontally, and we're going to hold, uh, fold them in groups of three because we want to find two of the three right here. So we want to this denominator right here. We're going to shape, we're going to fold it this way in three equal pieces right there. So there it is, uh, folded in three equal pieces, and then we're going to shade two-thirds so we're going to shade two of these three gold uh, sections right here can you see here's one-third here's two-thirds here's three-thirds of the gold we're going to shade these two ones in bold to show us uh, two-thirds of that so there's two of the three gold ones being shaded uh, blue all right so how many rectangles are formed by all the folds? Okay, forget about the colors for a second. How many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there's 12 pieces shaded uh, or folded all right there. What fraction of the whole sheet does each rectangle represent? Well, this one represents 1 12. This is 1 12. This is 1 12. All of these represent 1 out of the 12 right there. All right, so now let's count the sections that we shaded twice. In this case, the blue of them. So how many of them are shaded blue? Looks like six of them are shaded blue. So six out of the 12 pieces right there gives us 6 twelfths. Okay, now if you want to recognize that uh, you can divide both of these by 6, this reduces to 1 half, you guys. A 6 twelfths is a great answer, and probably your teacher would accept 6 twelfths. I would. Um, and if you want to, you can recognize that 6 twelfths reduces to 1 half. But 6 twelfths is our answer right there, okay? So Riley will use 6 twelfths yard of ribbon or 1 half yard of ribbon right there, okay? All right, so we did that by finding, uh, we found uh, two-thirds of three-fourths by first folding the paper into four equal pieces and then shading three of them. And then we uh, took those and folded it the other way into three equal pieces because it's thirds right there. And we shaded this many of them, so two of the three. And that gave us six of the double shaders there out of the 12 right there. Okay. All right, so explain why we shaded two-thirds of the gold section blue rather than shading two-thirds of the whole section. Well, we were finding two-thirds of the three-fourths of ribbon. We weren't finding two-thirds of the whole. We were finding two-thirds of three-fourths. That's why. So analyze. Uh, what are we finding if a model shows one half of a sheet of paper that's shaded gold and then a third of that gold shaded blue? Okay, so let's shade a half of this gold, okay? Now we're going to cut this into thirds, you guys. So let's cut it into thirds and shade one of them blue, okay? So there are one of the six equal pieces that's shaded blue 
two, so one third of one half is equal to one six. There's one out of the six that's shaded blue right there. All right, so let's try it again with a different way to do this. We can find a part of a part in different ways. Last time we found a, a two thirds of three fourths. This time we're going to find one third of three fourths in a different way. Here, Ginger and Bonnie correctly solved the problem one third times three fourths using the steps below. Okay, so they did circles. These are called fraction circles. So use the steps to show how each person found one-third times three-fourths. So here in both of these cases, it says down here, shade the model to show three-fourths. Okay, so we got these circles cut it up into fourths right here. So we're going to shade these three right here blue. I did it with both of them right there. So there they are. And then now we're going to do a little different pieces right here. So how many, let's do ginger here, how many of the one-fourth piece, uh, uh, pieces are shaded? Well, how many of these one-fourth pieces are shaded? There's one, two, there's three of them. So there's three of the one-fourth pieces that are shaded over here. Over here, they want us to divide the one-fourth pieces into thirds. So I'm going to cut this into thirds, probably right about here, and then another one right about here, and then do that all the way around. I'll do it right here and then right here and even uh, right here and right here and then even this guy right here and right here. I'm going to divide every of the fourth pieces into thirds. Okay, there they are right there. So right here, I'm right here. What part of the whole is each small piece? Well, how many small pieces are there? Well, there's there's four in each little piece right here. I'm sorry, there's three in each little piece, so there's 12 all together. Three times four is 12, so there's there's uh, 12, so each of these small pieces represents one twelfth of the whole piece right there. Okay, all right, let me just slide that up right there. All right, so over here, let's find, to find a third of three-fourths right here, we're just gonna circle one third of the three one fourths. Okay, so we'll just circle one of these three one fourth pieces that are shaded. I'll circle this one right here. Okay, all right, so there's that one over here. And then over here to find a third of three fourths, let's circle one third of each of the three one fourth pieces that are shaded. Okay, so look at this one fourth piece right here that's shaded. We're going to circle one third of these. So I'll circle this middle guy right here. I'll circle this middle guy right here. I'll circle this middle guy right here. So we're circling one third of each of the one fourth pieces that are shaded. So we'll circle those guys right there. Okay, so what part of the whole uh, of the whole is this one third of the shaded piece? Well, this this uh, piece right here represents one fourth of the whole piece right there. How many how many one twelfth pieces are circled over here? Well, there's three of the one twelfth pieces that are circled right here. So this would represent three twelfths right here. Over here, this represents one fourth. Over here, this represents three twelfths. So Bonnie's doing it a little bit different over here. So ginger, uh, one third times three fourths equals uh, one fourth right there. Okay, here on Bonnie, one third times three fourths equals the three of the twelfths. The three one twelfths are three twelfths right there. Okay, all right, you guys, I hope that makes sense. Take care.